Hey guys, welcome back to the shed. Um, you might remember last time we pulled apart the RCD and we were trying to figure out why it didn't work. Um, and we didn't get very far, we just figured out how it worked. Today I'm going to try and figure out why this particular one doesn't work. Is it something to do with the electronics? Is it something to do with its settings? Let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with this particular unit. Uh, to do that, I'm going to do a bit of bench testing here. And the setup that I've got is fairly straightforward. As you'll notice, there's two windings. So normally, you know, active will go in one end and neutral will come out the other and they'll balance out and everything will be all right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this device and I'm only gonna connect the active side. So if we think about our toroid here, we've got the neutral winding that comes in and I'm gonna leave that disconnected and we're gonna have the active winding going through there and any current that we put in the active will be an imbalance. Through that I'll have an ammeter and connected to that ammeter I will have a variable resistor and then that will go into the secondary of a low voltage transformer. So I only have a few volts so there's not going to be any dangerous voltages on the bench while I'm working. Anyway what I'm thinking will happen is we'll wind up this variable resistor until we get to 30 milliamps. So this RCD is designed to trip out at 30 milliamps and measure if it does in fact do that. What should happen is because it's imbalanced it should induce voltage on that extra coil and that will go through to this electronics here and cause it to trip. Okay guys, so we've got this set up how I drew. We've got uh, the only one side of this RCD is connected, only the yellow winding is connected and the purple winding is unconnected. So that's meaning that any current that I put through this yellow winding is going to be completely imbalanced. And what should happen is this should get to 30 milliamps and this solenoid device should activate. That should fire and we should be able to, you know, measure how much current it takes to trip. So this thing's designed to trip out at 30 milliamps. So let's see what it does. Um, I've got my ammeter here. That's an interesting one. It doesn't seem to be able to register anything lower than 21 milliamps. So I haven't, foolishly, I haven't read the uh, instructions on what this thing's rated to do. But what I'll do is I'll just turn up the current gradually. And once it gets to 21 milliamps, it seems to be reasonably reliable. It seems to be stable. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So right now we've got an overcurrent situation and the the RCD hasn't tripped. So forty milliamps. And what happened is the solenoid just released. So I'll hold it more clearly so Twenty-three, four, five. So, forty milliamps, and still thing still hasn't tripped. Okay, and just putting it down gave it enough shock to to knock it over. I'll give it another give it another try. Forty milliamps. So guys, that's it. It failed. It um, it didn't trip out at thirty milliamps like it was supposed to. So while it did trip out, which actually surprised me, I thought this thing was going to be a complete and utter failure. Uh, it did kind of work. Is it good enough? Absolutely not. But it did sort of work. Um, I really would appreciate any comments. If you guys want to know anything about the equipment I'm using, it's pretty stock standard. I'm using a, a Fluke one one seven multimeter. This thing's about a year old, so it's still in its calibration period. Um, 
And, and yeah, I do admit, uh, you know, the act of pulling this thing apart may have somehow altered, you know, its specifications. You know, it's not all jammed in, it's not all wired up. That said, I haven't untwisted any of the coils and I haven't changed anything about the topology of this at all. Uh, I haven't touched it with a soldering iron. It's, it's as it came really, just pulled further apart. So it failed. It still kind of works, which is heartening. You know, if it's going to fail, it's the kind of failure I'd like it to have. It might still save someone's life, but it's not guaranteed to. Anyway, please, uh, I really would appreciate any uh, comments or ratings you guys can give me. And um, yeah, I'm having fun with this, so uh, I'll maybe make a couple more videos for you. Thanks.